Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I will be giving you my um, NRL review of the Kennery Bankstown Bulldogs versus South Sydney Railroaders from yesterday's Good Friday clash on Good Friday. I was in attendance at this game, it was an amazing atmosphere, we won 50 points to 16, but before I get into the more exciting parts, we'll just go through the um, pretty much every... Um, change uh, pretty much everything that happened in the game, but without further ado, let's get right into it. So we kick off in the Bulldogs um, with the first penalty with a dangerous tackle, which Rabbitohs are very close to the try line. Maddie Burton knocks it on, and Rabbitohs have gotten six more tackles, and then 20 seconds later, Thomas Burgess knocks it on. He didn't want to touch it, but he felt like he wanted to. And then after that, we get a Excuse me. Then we get a um, scrum, and then Jake Avarillo runs away, running for about 80 metres or so. It's going over, scoring the Bulldogs' first try of the match, 4-0, and Matty Burton um, gets a conversion, 6-0. Um, in the fifth minute, we get a 40-20 kick from Reed Marnie, which was quite, quite impressive. And then we get a... Rabido, uh, sorry, Cody Walker... Um, gets its inside 10 metres, so it leads to a set restart for the Bulldogs. Uh, we get a penalty from Jacob Preston um, for escorts. Um, then Josh Adokar is unfortunately um, out of the game. His um, foot got stuck in the turf, and, it's, and it has been confirmed he has suffered a cystinosis injury and says he will be out for 6 to 12 weeks. That is a massive, massive blow for the Bulldogs, and that, go, that goes his chance to play for Origin in 2023. All well wishes for Josh Adokar. I hope you get a full and speedy recovery, mate. You're, you're one of the best species out there in the game right now. And then we get back-to-back -back penalties for the Rabbitohs. First one from a dangerous tackle from Lachlan Ilias. And then in the 16th minute, we get offside, in, offside inside 10 metres from Karen Murray. Then we get a rock infringement from... Um, Reid Marnie, which leads to the Rabbitohs' first set restart of the game. And then just under a minute later, um, Karen Murray goes over and scores the first try for the Rabbitohs in the 17th minute. Everyone goes crazy, and Latrell converts, making it 6 all in the 18th minute. Bulldogs get their second set restart of the match in the 20th minute after um, Tavia Totola, who returned early from an um, MCO injury, um, gives the Bulldogs the, their second second restart. Jacob Jacob Preston gets a second penalty for a slow peel this time. We get a knock on from Cody Walker. And then when Matt Burton goes for a penalty, gets a penalty for being offside downtown. Latrell Mitchell had an opportunity to almost go over the try line, but he unfortunately knocks it on. And then we get a HIA from Harrison Edwards. In which Josh Reynolds comes on, um, and he gets cheered by the dogs. Well, the rab if you if you're in the Rabbitohs section, you were heavily booing him because remember what happened many years many years ago, um, back in 2015 or or 2014. Um, it's one of those years that we got the penalty or whatnot. Knock on from Corey Wardell, and Josh Reynolds gets a penalty for a second effort. Which 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 leads to Latrell Mitchell um, co um, converting a penalty goal with the Rabbitohs taking the lead eight points to six with twelve minutes to go. And then Isaac Thompson gives the ball to Latrell Mitchell, and Latrell Mitchell goes over and scores his first of three tries in the thirty-first minute, twelve points to six, and converts his own try, making it fourteen points to six. And then, almost a minute later, <laughs> Latrell Mitchell goes over and scores the second score. His second try from Cody Walker. Um, almost going like the ball uh, bounced off Cody Walker. Almost a uh, knock on, but he catches it, passes Latrell Mitchell before he goes into um, touch. And Latrell goes over like Superman, scores his second try, 18 points to six. 
before I, um, another conversion from him. 20 points to 6. Only 5 minutes and 4.5 and minutes from half time. We get an error from Max King, which leads to Rabbitohs getting the ball back. And out of all players, Jacob Ho scores his first try for the Rabbitohs. Um, 20, 24 points to 6 just before half time. And Latrell converts um, 26 points to 6. And it's, yep, so it's 26 points to 6 at half time. Well, what an insane first half that was. Um, Harrison Edwards, the Bulldogs lock, was cleared of HRA and he, and he returns. And Josh Reynolds has gone off for the time being. Lachlan Ilias puts in back to back bombs. And then he knocks it on. Uh, just after, after kicking it. Kicking a big bomb, which leads to Kyle Flanagan getting oh, it's a lot of kick bombs between Lachlan Nilius and Kyle Flanagan. Knock ons from Isaiah Tass, two of them, and then one from Has Um Bulldogs get a um, captain's challenge. Uh, I was trying to remember what it was. I think. Wait, what was it for? Was it for a knock on, I believe? Mm. And then we get a penalty offside inside 10 minutes from Josh Reynolds. This was the one um, that this was the... Uh, I, I know, it, no, it was the next one, sorry. This penalty right here, the Bulldogs go over and score a no try. Oh, sorry, hang on. Josh Reynolds um, inside 10 metres, offside inside 10 metres. And then pe Josh Reynolds... Um, um, denies the Bulldogs a try after he was obstructed blocking, I think it was pushing David Malawi to try and tackle um, Matt, I think it was Matt Burton who tried, who went over and almost who supposedly got the try but it was denied a try so Bulldogs got a no try in the 53rd minute because of Josh Reynolds being an idiot then we get a penalty from Jacob Host in the 33rd Minute offside inside 10 metres. And then this time the Bulldogs had a second chance. Uh, Matt Burton goes over and scores his first try in the match in the 54th minute, leading 26 cent and converts his own goal. 26 points to 12. <laughs> Excuse me. Then we get a knock on from Jake Avarillo and then from Isaac Thompson. He bombed the try once again, but his foot was out on the line. What an idiot. Uh, then we get a rock infringement from Damien Cook, which leads, which leads to another set restart for the Dogs. And then 26 seconds later, Max King knocks it on. And then Jacob Preston um, uh, um, gets um, penalised for a dangerous tackle, and he's placed on the front in his tenant in bit. It, it later surfaced that it was a hip hop, a hip hop, um, tr um, a hit hop um, tackle, which is pretty dangerous. So he's got sent in um, in the bin for ten minutes, which leads to the Rabbitohs going on a roll and next lot of changes. So unfortunately, because of that, Isaac Thompson, who, who was the one um, dropped by hit hop, hip drop, hit hop drop, or, or hit hop drop trap. Um, sorry, hip hop. Um, tackle, hit drop tackle. Um, he was the one who got pushed to the ground, and I believe he is injured. And I think he hasn't surfaced yet, but I believe um, he has been injured. So Jacob Post comes on while Isaac Thompson is off for the, for the rest of the game. And then, because of that, Cody Walker goes over and scores the next, first try off for the Rabbitohs in the second half. Dominating 17 minutes are coming up for the Bunnies. Latrell converts. 32 points to 12. And Jed Cartwright, with a line break, passes to Latrell Mitchell, and Latrell gets three tries in this game, in his game, game 150. 36-12, which leads to him converting his final goal, 38 points to 12. Then we get a penalty from Reid Marnie, um, which was a flop. And then, and another another Rabbitohs player gets a hat trick. Campbell Graham goes out 
over there in the Bulldogs right hand corner and he goes over the so left hand corner so Rabbitohs go on the right side and Campbell Graham goes over and scored his first of three tries 42 points to 12, 12. but unfortunately Latrell, Latrell Mitchell had missed the conversion and then we get uh, Mark and Knox squared for Jacob Carraz knock on from Hasparam then from Damien Cook so Damien Cook knocks it on, or it's actually intercepted, which then it's let, which which just led to Matt Burton getting an intercept, running the length of the field towards my direction, goes over, scores a Bulldogs final try for the game and his double as well, and it was his six. I don't know how many career double. I think that was his six, six career double or something, I, or twentieth or something. I have no idea. That's what I just um, brought up in the stats um, after the game or whatnot. But he misses, and debuting for the um, debuting for the Bulldogs, Samuel Hughes, NRL debut. Congratulations for making your debut. But then we get um, Matt Burton kick, gets a kick bomb, and then a couple seconds later. Samuel he used with his first penalty of his debut uh, of his career offside for being offside downtown and then one minute later Campbell Graham goes over scores another try in the corner 46 points to 16 with three and a half minutes to go funny thing is Latrell Mitchell missed it but he hit the damn crossbar he bounced off the crossbar that was su that was pretty f that was pr um, pretty funny, but it should have went over. But it was so close, funny funny moment for the trail's memory. And then we get a kick bomb from Lachlan Illis. It's bounced it's bounced on the ground. And then Latre and then Campbell Graham picks it up and goes over again. We're going crazy. Campbell Graham goes over and gave and gets a hat trick. Fifty points to sixteen. And then Latrell misses the f conversion once again. Look, Campbell Graham was going to go over for four, but then Latrell p passes it and it goes out to touch. But unfortunately, and that's and that's the game, and that's full time. Rabbitohs win 50 points to 16. Wow, that was such a crazy game. And being in, the, being in attendance at the Good Friday game, the atmosphere was great. There was 35,211 in attendance. I actually didn't realise this, but in my vlog, I said the crowd would be 35,000. I actually got it correct. I know I said if there's 30,000 or less, be disappointed. But I guess 35,000, it was about the, start, the very start of it, I believe. And I actually got it correct. Oh my goodness, I'm a genius. I'm a master predictor. <laughs> nah, not really. But, what an amazing game. Latrell Mitchell finally stepping out of his shell. What, of what he's capa capable. He's been very quiet for the first five games to start the year. But he finally came out and played amazing in his 150th game. He's played... I believe he's played 96 for the Roosters. And how many for the... I think it, then he's played 54 games for the Rabbitohs. Uh, ma amazing, uh, amazing legend, Latrell Mitchell. He's a pretty much a once-in-a-generation uh, superstar. Or, some, or something like that. Uh, I can't get enough of him from last night. He's played so amazing. But with that out of the way, I'll give you guys my top three on board. Well, first of all, I'll give you my best Bulldogs player. This is something I haven't done yet, but I should say who the best player was from the opposition team. Um, I'll say Matt Burton was pretty much the best player to, um, in that game for the Dogs. Scoring a double. And in, 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 the, in getting an intercept try from Damien Cook, running the length of the field. And I actually managed to get that... On the um, vlog as well, that was amazing. But Cookie should have known better. But unfortunately, Josh, Jack, yeah, I think Josh Adokar went off the game about ten minutes in. I think that completely changed the game of how the Bulldogs were playing because the Bulldogs they were playing excellent for the first 
uh, five to ten minutes before Alucard went down um, um, injured. And they scored the first try as well. Jake Avarillo scored the first try for the um, Bull, um, Bulldogs. I think that completely changed the course of the for the Bulldogs. And it's and it's bad enough. They've already got an injury to Christ already at the club already. <sighs> but like I said, all well wishes to Josh Adokar. Spent my fastest speedy recovery. He's going to be out until at least at this stage round 18. That's that's two thirds of the way f of the NRL at that point. <laughs> Unbelievable! It sucks. And Sistanosis injury. Like he was getting taped up, and you know from his face facial expressions he was feeling the fucking pain. But uh, that sucks for him. But oh well, injuries happen. Now, I'll give you my top three on board for the Rabbitohs. It'll be pretty obvious. But number three, I've got to go to Cody Walker. Scoring that magnificent try. And play, putting in an assist to Latr getting Latrell's second try off the match. I thought that was such an amazing play. Amazing set there from the Bunnies. And from Walker, number two, got to give it to Campbell Graham. His first, he's score, scoring a hat-trick. I believe the last time he scored a hat-trick... Was against Melbourne back in 2019 at the on the central at the Central Coast Stadium. Or, or it was called Central Coast Stadium back in 2019. He scored three tries for the bun three tries for the Bunnies that game, but we lost that game to Melbourne. I think that's the last time he got a hat trick. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I think that's his. I believe that's his second ever hat trick as well. I could be wrong. I mean. He's still pretty young, and he's been at the club since 2017. Unreal. And my, so obviously my man in the match, the best player on the field that game, obviously Trill Mitt, 150 um, legend, 150 game legend himself, Latrell Mitchell. Oh, where do I start? So, so I brought up the stats here for Latrell Mitchell. Says he ran for a hundred. This is against the Bulldogs in yesterday's game. A hundred eighty-eight run meters, one line break assist, four tackle breaks, three tries, two try assists, seven out of ten goals. Such an amazing game. I hope it could be like this when we play the Dolphins next Thursday night. But. Dolphins won against the Cowboys yesterday, and the Cowboys looked ordinary. I don't want to get into what happened, as the certain thing that happened with a shin bin, and I think a player should be dropped for that. But that's just my opinion, and I'm not here to talk about the Cowboys. So there you go. 50 points to 16. Final score to round off um, the Rabbitohs' massive win over the Bulldogs. I wasn't expecting 50 points. I was expecting like 30 points to 24 or so. It seemed like that, but it is what it is. So we'll go through the team stats now. So we got 43% of the ball for the Dogs, 57 for the Rabbitohs. The completion rate for both teams was um, at least above 70%, but it could have been better for both teams. So it looks like they didn't, seems like they got a lot of errors, which I'm not surprised. So Bulldogs got 25 out of 35 completions with 71%. The Rabbitohs did slightly better with 31 out of 42, which is set up, which is 73%. It is an improvement, but we still got to work on it better, bunnies. So all runs, 136 for the Dogs, 195 for the bunnies. Run, all run meters. 1,266 for the Bulldogs. Exactly 1,900 run meters for the Rabbitohs. Post con contact meters. Po sorry, post contact meters. 293 for the Dogs. 50 for the Rabbitohs. Uh, sorry, 524 for the Rabbitohs. <laughs> one line break from. Why only one line break from the Dogs? Wow. And then 10 line breaks for the Rabbitohs. 12 tackle breaks for the Bulldogs, 30 for the Ra Rabbitohs. Um, 101 kick me kick return meters for the Dogs, 203 for the Rabbitohs. Both teams got six offloads. 
340 receipts for the dogs, 424 for the bunnies, 202 passes for the dogs, 242 for the rabbitos. Both got three three dummy pa half passes. 16 kicks each. Wow, some of the stats here they got the same. 431 kicking meters for the bulldogs, 474 for the rabbits, 44% kick diffuser for the dogs, 50% for the rabbits. 140-20 from the dogs. Two bombs from the Bulldogs, four for the Rabbitohs. Three grubbers for the Bulldogs, two for the Rabbits. Defense effective tackle percent, 91.04 for the Bulldogs. 90.55 90 for the Rabbitohs, or 91% to round it off the nearest. So they're pretty much the same. 376 tackles for the Bulldogs. Only 230 for the Rabbitohs. Wow. 30 missed tackles to the Bulldogs, 12 to the Rabbits. One intercept from the Dogs. Seven in ineffective tackles from the Bulldogs. Twelve for the Rabbitohs. Ten errors for the Dogs. Thirteen for the Rabbitohs. So even though the Rabbitohs played well, they got more errors than the Dogs. <laughs> Not surprised, honestly. Um, Eleven penalties to three. Wow. The, rab the refs were really on the Dogs that night. Eleven penalties for the Bulldogs. Three for the Rabbitohs. Wow. I wasn't paying attention to the penalties, honestly. I lost track of how many there was at the game. Ruck infringements, one for the Bulldogs, two for the Rabbits. Um, zero inside 10 meters for the Dogs, one for the Rabbits. Players on report and Simbin, one each for the Bulldogs. That was Jacob Preston. Don't know how many weeks or how he'll get fined for it. Nine interchanges used for the Dogs, six for the Rabbits. One, one HIA for the Bulldogs. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the game between the Bulldogs and the Rabbitohs. I'm sorry if this review has gone on a bit longer than expected, but hey, eh, that tends to happen. But, well, just wanted to say massive congratulations to Latrell Mitchell in his 150th game, getting a hat trick, and Le Campbell Graham getting a hat trick as well. Unexpectedly, a hat trick, brothers. There's already been. Like, yeah, Royal Roast has already made up with something like that. It's pretty funny. <laughs> the Hattrick Brothers. Oh, well, I, don't know. I hope um, Campbell Graham gets put in the um, origin side. I mean, with uh, he can play wing as well, because um, Campbell Graham started off as a winger for the Bunnies. Um, with Josh Adokar out, it, Graham could be in contention to play on the wing. Um, if they decide to, but if and you still got like Stephen Crichton, and Brian Tot, all those players as well. If Kimmel Graham does get it, that will be amazing. He he does deserve to play Origin at least this year, or even if he's on the bench, I'm I'm happy with that. But anyways, everyone, this will conclude the Bulldogs versus Rabbitohs Good Friday Clash review. I also forgot to mention there were also a couple streakers, um, in the game. Um, I saw three that run onto the field. I didn't realise there was a fourth one um, in when I was recording. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. There were actually about six or so, because as I saw it from a couple other videos that other people filmed there as well. And that that was interesting. You're all going to get $5,000 fines. Uh, that was pretty funny. But anyways, huge congratulations to the Rabbitohs on going on to win 50 points of 16. Where does this leave for the Bulldogs? Well, with a massive injury crisis, it just shows you how, um, that the we know the B Cowboys last week was a fluke. I know, uh, yes, it was a five-day turnaround, but no excuses. Now, for next week's game, we take on the Bulldogs. Uh, we take on the Dolphins up at Suncorp Stadium for the first time ever. The only time we're playing the Dolphins. Now, the Dolphins did win against the Cowboys um, in yesterday's clash against the Cowboys. 32 points to 22, I believe, the game, the game was. And, um, yeah, uh, such a great victory. It will be an, it will be a great mashup between the Rabbitohs and the Cow um, and the Dolphins. Wayne Bennett was our coach from 2019 to 2021. And so it will be him against Jason Demetrio, who was with Wayne Bennett during those times, um, but when, well, we, when he was at the club. Um, the GOAT, Mark Nichols, against his former club as well. 
Wow, we've got a great mashup coming up very soon. Anyways, everyone, this will conclude the review. I'll see you next week for round seven. And I'll see you for round seven um, against the Dolphins. No, I am not going to the game. It's up in Queensland. But my next lot of um, vlogs will be up there at Magic Round. I don't know if I'm going to round eight against the Panthers here. I'll let you guys know in the round eight tips. When that will be coming out in about a, in just over a, over a week, which that's also Anzac round as well. But I'll let you guys know in that video. Anyways, everyone, I hope you enjoy, guys enjoyed the review. Sorry for the long review, but it's so exciting to go over so much. I hope you, you guys enjoyed the review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. If you have not seen the vlog either, it has been uploaded. Go check it out. It's in my vlogs 2023 NRL vlogs playlist, so go check it out. Anyways, everyone, I'll see you in the next one.